Hi everyone, so I'm back with another great off-campus opportunity and this one is with Western Digital. So if you don't know by now, Western Digital is hiring for software development engineers and they are taking applications from freshers as well. So this is a great opportunity for all of you guys that are looking for their first job right now because Western Digital is a pretty decent company to work at. So in this video, we'll be talking about the opportunity, we'll be talking about the eligibility and we'll be talking about how to get your resume shortlisted. So everything that you need for this role, for this opportunity, you will be seeing in the video. All you have to do is make sure that you watch this video till the end. And just a quick reminder that I make regular videos about all of the off-campus hirings that are out there and guides on how to crack them. So if you're a fresher or a college student looking for a job or an internship right now, then make sure that you subscribe to the channel because you will be seeing a lot of hiring alerts and guides on cracking them. All right, so coming back to this opportunity, Let's talk about the eligibility first, right? Because that is the most important thing. So if you're a 2025 graduate, meaning if you're graduated in 2025 or before, then you are eligible for this. Okay. So if you graduated in 2025 or 2024 or 2023, you are eligible for this. Now, there is one more thing important here, and this is sort of a preference. This is not a mandatory eligibility, but this is a preference that, I've, that they have mentioned, and that is CGPA. So if you have a CGP of 7.5 and above, then you're a preferred candidate. So even if you have below 7.5, you can still apply, but preference will be if you have above 7.5, okay? So if you have around 7.5, if you have around seven, then that will be a great thing. But below that, you might have lesser chances, but I still think you should apply because of course, skills trump above CGPA, right? And this is just their preference. This is not mandatory, okay? The main eligibility is if you're a 2025 grad, or before then you are eligible for this okay so that is the eligibility if you still have any doubt feel free to ask me in the comments and then we can discuss that there i'll be able to clarify it for you all right now let's get to the most important part that is of course how to get your resume shortlisted because that is the one thing where a lot of people have issues in basically getting the resume shortlisted so what a lot of people do is that they just submit their resume whatever they have in a rush as soon as they see the opening so you should not do that. You should apply ASAP. Don't wait for too long, but you need to make the necessary changes in your resume, which is what I'm about to tell you right now. So first things first, you need to have a good ATS score of your resume. So you need to make sure that your resume is ATS friendly. Try to keep an ATS score of above 80%. If you have above 80% in your resume ATS score, then you're in a good position. You're in a safe spot basically. So a lot of people ask me, how do we check ATS score of our resume? So I'll be giving you some websites in the description box. From there, you'll be able to check the ATS score of your resume. Apart from the ATS score, you need to make sure that the template of your resume is good. It is well readable. You need to make sure that the font is good. You need to make sure that the proper formatting, proper spacing is there. I see a lot of resume and then they have inconsistent spacing. Somewhere they have one line spacing, somewhere they have two line spacing. You should not have that. You should have a consistent resume. Okay. So all of these things are pretty important. Apart from that, of course, the content of your resume matters as well. That is the most important thing. You need to have the right content in your resume. Okay. So the project section of your resume is going to be very important. You need to have good projects. You need to have high quality products. You need to have the right tech stacks. So what I'll be doing, I'll be giving you some keywords that matches with the JD of Western Digital. So what you can do, you can find the list of keywords in the description box. And you can add those keywords in your resume to improve your chances of getting shortlisted. So the entire list of keywords will be in the description box. You just need to have a look at it and whatever you know or whatever you can learn, you can put in your resume. So I always suggest you can learn something and then put it in your resume. Okay. So the entire dedicated list of keywords will be in the description box. You can basically use that and put it in your resume. Okay. But the projects that you make should be of high quality. Okay. And second, they should be deployed. Make sure that you deploy your project and you give the link to your deployed project and make sure that you give the link to you, the GitHub of your project. This is very important. So you can use the keywords and try to keep high quality projects in your resume. They have a preference for web dev projects. So if you have web dev project, then that is going to be a pretty good thing. And apart from that, they have a preference for Python as well. So if you have made Python projects, or if you've used Python either for data project or as backend, then again, that will be a good thing. All right. So again, this is just a preference. Even if you have other tech stacks, you can still apply. All right. And apart from that, the rest of the keywords are in the description box. Have a look at it and you can add whatever you need. You don't need to add all of them. You can add whatever you know, or you can add whatever you're willing to learn or you're trying to learn or you are learning. All right. But don't put anything that you're not sure of or you're not confident of. Okay. 
So if you do all of these things, you'll have a really good chance of getting shortlisted. Apart from that, if you want to boost your chances even more, then you can go down the route of referral. So I will be giving you my referral template in the description box. You can use that referral template. Just copy the referral template, copy it, and then edit it according to the message and find employees of Western Digital and you can basically message them and ask them for referral. Okay. So you can ask them for referral. Just make sure that you use the proper template for messaging while messaging for referral and make sure that you give the job ID along with your proper resume. Okay. So this is something that can improve your chances of getting shortlisted, but even without referral, you can apply. Taking a referral is not mandatory. It just increases your chances, but it's not mandatory. Now, after you get your resume shortlisted, of course, you'll have to go through the interviews and what I will be doing, I'll be giving you some interview experiences, articles in the description box so that you can know what the interview process is going to be like and so that you can prepare accordingly. So everything that you need for getting your resume shortlisted or for cracking the interviews will be in the description box. So you just check the description box out once and prepare a proper resume and then apply. Do not be in a rush to apply, apply ASAP, but with a proper resume. So whenever you see this video, just make the changes in your resume and then apply ASAP and you'll have a good chance of getting shortlisted. And even if you don't, you don't need to worry because like I keep saying in all of my videos, this is a great time for hiring all the way from August, September, October, November till December, you will be seeing a lot of hiring right now, especially for 2025 grads. Okay. So make sure that you're ready and make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any opening and let's see you in the next video.